blessed one i have been talking about things that will help your marriage stabilize and have a strong foundation and um, i started from the very beginning talking about the covenant of marriage if you go back to the teachings i've had in the past concerning this you can update yourself well in case this is your first time please subscribe to this channel and um, you will be blessed definitely so and you can listen to previous messages on marriage concerning different aspects that are foundational now today i'm talking about the marriage covenant death to self the marriage covenant death to self now you see people are basically selfish you know that people are selfish very very selfish but in marriage <laughs> If you if you go into marriage with selfishness, of course, that's why there's so much trouble, travail, fights, quarrels, murders, insincerity, infidelity. I mean, the list is endless. The list is endless. But if you want to have a healthy marriage, we have the book of Genesis to go back to Genesis 2.24. The A part says, leave your father and your mother and be joined to your wife and the two become one. Genesis 2 verse 24. The two becoming one. It will not be easy for you to become one until you become one with the Lord. And it's not enough to say, okay, I'm born again. I've given my life to Jesus. But he say, Lord of your life. That's the question. When he is Lord of your life, then it means you are submitted to do his will. It means Romans 12:1 that talks about you being a, you know, a living sacrifice, laying down your life. That's what it means. First to the Lord. I did teach this in one of my uh, um, um, passages I took earlier on, one of the teachings I had earlier. I am repeating that because man is basically selfish. And what happens? They bring the selfishness into marriage. What can I get out from him? What can I get out from her? Not what can I do to contribute? What can I do to make his life better, make her life better? What can we do so the Lord will be happy and glad so we can glorify his name? So, my beloved one, you must focus on that aspect of killing your flesh, letting flesh die and letting the life of Christ in you shine. All right. When you are submitted to that altar of self, self, you self sacrifice, you, you, your desires are nullified. It is God's desires first. And of course, when you desire to do God's will, it will be easy for you to love your your wife or to submit to your husband it will be easy for you to 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 carry out the word of god the 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 love of god that that, that passes how do i say it? It, it, it 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 it's easier for you to love the way god expects you to love unconditionally god's kind of love first corinthians 13 please study it but you cannot if you do not die to self that's just the point you must die to self, beloved. You have to. So when you are submitted to do God's will, then the Lord, you are pliable in his hands. You are like that um, clay, soft clay. You know there's clay that can be hard. You can't do anything with clay that's hard. It has to be broken down, you know, and then add some water to it and then to make it malleable and begin to mix it up. But if you're already that soft clay in the master's hand, it's easy. He begins to mold you into what he wants you to be for his praise and glory. So, be that clay in his hand as you submit yourself to the Lord. As you say, Lord, take over. Your will is my will. I don't have a will of my own like our Lord did. Even at a time it was hard for him. But eventually he did say, Lord, your will, not mine. 
that's what it should be in marriage your will lord not mine and then you will be in a position to love your husband or your wife the way you expected you expected to love them it wants you all now to look into this and give your life afresh to the lord he says if you love me keep my commandments all right so you have to die to self so that you can gain your life back matthew matthew 10 18 and 19 even talks about us giving over to the lord if we love any other thing more than we love the lord <laughs> we are not serious we're not started in marriage you have to also learn to submit your will to the lord give over your life to the lord give over your everything i don't know how to put it to you let the holy spirit begin to minister to you in the name of jesus i come against all this selfishness all the spirits that come against marriages coming against people to make them not to care lord i bring this one listening under your mighty power under your presence your spirit that you begin to teach them yourself by your spirit that you begin to give them the grace to humble themselves before your mighty hand that you give them the grace that you give them the grace to say yes lord to you that you give them the grace to love you and then the grace to love the, their partner and be committed the way they ought to be and give them the grace to really, really love their partner the way they should. Submitting to one another in love. I come against the spirit of despair. That spirit has says it's gone too far in this relationship. I'm not sure uh, I can make it. I'm not sure I, I need to get out of this relationship. I've had enough. No, Lord, let there be hope restored in this life. Let there be hope restored in this life. Let there be hope restored in this life again. And I speak life to your life. And I speak life to your life as you give yourself humbly to the Lord. Lord, I hand over this one to you. Sanctify with the blood of Jesus. Cleanse. Receive them as they give over themselves to you. In the name of Jesus, as they give over themselves to you. Save them. Deliver. And let the power of death and hell be broken off their lives. Let the Holy Spirit fill this one. Let the Holy Spirit fill this one. Fill this one. Wipe away their tears. Comfort their heart. Encourage them. Strengthen them. And Lord, give the grace now that they should be able to run the race. And as they submit to you, Lord, they are strengthened to be able to love that husband, to love that wife. They will not run away and they will be empowered to have victory, to become more than conquerors as they begin to love the way they ought to. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So don't give up, beloved. The secret key for to submit yourself, everything to the Lord, your tongue, your thoughts, your time, your money, your life, your everything about you, your gifts, hand over to the Lord. Even those weaknesses, hand over to the Lord and let him be Lord and Lord alone of your life. And then you will see what he will do. He will pick you up from the ground. He will clean you up. Put your feet, establish your feet on the solid rock and then you can stand. And you'll be empowered by the Holy Spirit to begin to love in a way that you never imagined you could. Hallelujah. Well, you are welcome to uh, Agape Marriage Ministry. You can check out our website, leave your question there if you have any. Or any, send a text, preferably, whatever will get back to you. God bless you and the Lord lead you and keep you. Hallelujah. You can also buy our books when you check online. So anyone that you feel you want, please go ahead and pick it up. God bless you real good. Love you, love you, love you. This is Pastor Veronica Noble saying, you are blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs>